Um, and we all gathered last year to discuss basically a variety of issues, but the, um, the umbrella issue was climate change. And uh, I think that although the topic wasn't discussed in most of the committees, it was, um, you know, it rang out all throughout the whole conference. And uh, at the beginning of the conference, the chair addressed this issue and uh, she, you know, expressed her wishes for the conference to be a paperless conference. And I think that compared to the year before, much less paper was used and I think that that's an improvement and uh, I think uh, in, my, in my committee, um, in the resolution that I wrote, I did include um, a clause that addressed um, climate change and global warming. Uh, my resolution was actually on uh, the question of Southeast Asian free trade zone and um, you know, actually I think addressing this problem is, is, is key even in um, economic, in the economic sense as well, because if if you address um, you know economic problems, I mean, uh, sorry, if you address global warming and you know you use more sustainable uh, methods, then you know you can actually drive down your uh, average costs in the long run, and therefore you know it is relevant even um, in the committee that I was in. So yeah. During Taimun 2008, I was the UNESCO representative in the ECOSOC Council, the Economic and Social Council, where we discussed a lot of issues related to climate change, such as managing the consequences of rapid economic growth in view of climate change, and the practical use of scientific knowledge in economic and social planning. I felt that it was a really good experience because we got, to, we got together a lot of youths who were passionate about what they believed in, and openly discuss issues that could be adopted on an international level but in order to combat climate change which I feel is a very serious issue in view of what's going on today. Hi, in the committee I was in which was General Assembly 1, uh, the main topic was disarmament and international security but the main the main topic that really caught my interest was the subtopic, which was maintaining international peace and security in Southeast Asia in response to climate change. Uh, though it was a subtopic in uh, General Assembly 1, it was very heavily debated and a lot of interesting points came out from a lot of the delegates. Uh, some of the things that were talked about were how, resource, uh, how resources became scarce, in many countries because of climate change, because it affected agriculture. And stuff. Uh, they also talked about proposals of nuclear energy as a potential alternative source of energy. But uh, there was also debate on how the nuclear waste is very harmful and how nuclear energy is, does not produce that much energy, and which makes its waste uh, a huge negative. I was in the Human Rights Council where we debated about human rights, human rights of populations affected by land and environmental degradation, which is quite relevant to climate change, especially in countries where there lack laws to protect people's rights against um, multi, multi corporations have gone in because of the cheap cost um, and have neglected protecting. Um, things like w the water, air, um, and it has greatly affected especially tribal villages where their water get affected and such, especially like in Papua New Guinea where, um, where there was a big copper mining and the water has actually been so badly polluted that it has turned like blue. I was in GA5, General Assembly 5, and it was an administration and budgetary um, assembly, so it didn't really have anything to do with climate change, but the overall theme for Thaimin 08 was climate change, and um, basically my views on climate change is, I mean, 
people, a lot of people are engaging in this debate on whether climate change actually have, ha, I mean, has like really adverse effects and it is as depicted by the media and the scientific community. I mean, it's, yeah. And uh, I think that that's not the point because it's only a matter of time, the effects, I mean, when it will reach us and to what, to what extent it will affect us. But at the end of the day, we, are, we will be affected. I mean, we already are being affected. We have more constant freak snowstorms in the U.S. Um, um, we have flash floods in Malaysia. We have um, more intense hurricanes, and it's very detrimental for economic growth and, I mean, the general welfare of society. So, I mean, people, I think we should just do our best, do our part. It doesn't have to be big things. Some small things like adopting energy saving light bulb, <laughs> saving paper, turning off the lights, and little things like that. I mean, it, it is really frustrating when you hear people saying, oh, resources are here, we should use all of it as much as we can while we have the time because the earth is going to come to an end anyway. I mean, people should think, I mean, they should think about the future generations as well, not just the, I mean, on the grand epic scale of things, we are so insignificant, we are just one generation, one individual. Who are we to say that we have all the rights in the world to use everything and however much we want, so... Yeah, basically I just think that, you know, we don't know if we can stop this, we don't really know if, I mean there's a lot of uncertainty in this, and basically, we should just do what we can, and try our best to combat it with whatever means we have.